Hi, my name is Chris Gunnam and I'm working as product manager for IMT Medical. Today I would like to show you a couple of good practice rules with the PF300 flow analyzer and we will just go through a couple of initial steps before performing an actual measurement. This is a typical setup we have for the PF300. Um, we have a ventilator or anesthesia machine with its conventional um, setup, with its conventional circuit. Then we have a filter and we have the PF300 which measures everything which is delivered to the test lung or coming back from the test lung. So this is a quite typical setup for ventilator testing which is usually used for annual maintenance. Before we start, we have to do a couple of standard steps. Um, we want to warm up the PF300 for 15 minutes. Also ventilators should be warmed up for some period of time before you do any calibration or any verification procedure. Then, and this is necessary before every measurement, we have to zero the PF300 to make sure there is no offsets in any of the sensors. While you do the zero, no tubes should be connected because otherwise you risk having some um, pressure applied somewhere which then will be zeroed away. Also, we should always use a filter here at the inlet to avoid any clogging with dust. If the O2 measurement we're doing is really important, then we should also calibrate the oxygen cell. I will show the calibration procedure later on during the practical part. O2 calibration should be repeated once every week or daily if the oxygen measurement is really important. But usually once every week is sufficient. Before we actually start working, we have to make sure that the gas type um, is set up correctly. We have to make sure the gas standard is set the same as my ventilator and we want to make sure our trigger settings are working. Particularly the trigger settings, they can also be changed later on if we realize that anything is um, funny or strange or not matching up with the ventilator. So let's start um, with the practice. I will zoom now on the device itself. It is now protected with these white caps. This is good for transport to avoid any dust of going into the sensitive measuring device. I open both channels, the low flow channel and the high flow channel, and I also do the same in the rear. Then I perform the zero operation. It is here in the menu, zero, and it takes a few seconds and then all the measurements are zeroed. We can very nicely see that on my flow here, flow is zero, pressure is zero, so these two values need to be exactly zero. Then my offset is corrected uh, correctly. Of course, we need to set to, to attach the filter. And now I will show you how to perform an oxygen calibration. Again, oxygen calibration is enough every week or in ahead of very important oxygen measurements. I go to the menu. I choose uh, where are the calibrations? I choose calibrations. Select. I choose oxygen sensor calibration. Select. And now it tells me to apply 25 liters per minute of pure oxygen. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using my ventilator, the service level of my ventilator, to apply 100% oxygen, 25 liters per minute. Here on the right side, we see the actual flow. 
it is now 23. That will be enough, but I can still fine tune that a little bit to get up to 25. So the flow here is not important, but it is important that the uh, oxygen cell receives enough fresh oxygen. And then I press continue. And it is taking two minutes until the 100% oxygen point is calibrated. The oxygen calibration in the PF300 is always a two-point calibration. Two-point calibration means one point at 100%, which we do right now, and another one at 21% pure air. We will do that right afterwards. So now the oxygen calibration, the 100% point is almost done. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 seconds left. And after this, we will be prompted to do the same at 21% with air. So it tells me to apply 25 liters per minute of air. So I, again, I use the service controller of my ventilator to blow air through. I have now 29 liters, so I can fine-tune that a little bit. To about 25. If I'm happy, I start the 21% point, 21 point of oxygen calibration. Again, it will take me two minutes. I would like to repeat, this process, which takes a while, is only required once a week or in ahead of very important oxygen measurements. So our oxygen calibration is right about to be finished. We have eight, seven, six seconds to go. That was the 21% oxygen point. And after this, our oxygen sensor calibration has been successful. I would like to stress the point that the oxygen sensor must be calibrated with a flow. The 25 liters per minute is really important to provide the oxygen sensor inside the PF300 with the necessary, with the necessary flow. It is not enough to just have a little bit of flow, it really needs 25 liters per minute. Um, as a next step, and we should always do that, is we should double check if the gas type, the gas standard and the trigger settings match up with what I'm doing. I go to the menu, I go to gas type and gas standard, I select it and I can see now that my gas type is air and oxygen automatic which means the measurement of the oxygen cell is automatically used to detect what kind of air oxygen mix I have um, I, is, is, is being measured here. So that's correct, that's a typical setting for ventilator and anesthesia machines. Then the gas standard is AP21. AP21 is used for the Bella Vista ventilator. Any other ventilator may have a different gas standard and the only way to know which gas standard to set is by reading the service manual of the ventilator or the anesthesia machine. So both are matching up. Um, next, I want to see the trigger settings before, because I want to check adult ventilation. I check the trigger, I select it. It is now set to adult. I can quickly check on the details if nobody has uh, changed anything. I have a start trigger, flow, plus 3 liter per minute, rising edge, and I have an end trigger, which is the trigger at the start of expiration, of flow, falling edge, minus 3 liter per minute. Delay is 60 milliseconds, and base flow is disabled. To get more details on these settings, please check my, our other video which deals with ventilation parameters and trigger settings. So this brings me to an end of this presentation. I would like to repeat the few steps which has to be, have to be done before every measurement. One is warm up, 15 minutes. Second one is zero the device. 
through the menu with nothing attached. Then always use a filter and check the gas standards, gas types, and trigger settings. That's all, that's fairly quickly. Oxygen sensor calibration every, only has to be done every once in a while. Thank you very much for your attention and good luck with your measurements with the PF300 flow analyzer. Thank you.